How to Read a Book, The Classic Guide to Intelligent Reading by Mortimer J. Adler is a comprehensive exploration of the art of reading and understanding literature effectively. Through his insightful analysis, Adler provides readers with valuable insights into the different levels of reading, the types of reading, and the strategies that can be employed to fully grasp the content of any book. The book's central theme revolves around the idea that reading is not merely a passive activity but an active engagement that requires effort, attention, and a systematic approach. Adler introduces the concept of four levels of reading, elementary, inspectional, analytical, and syntopical. The elementary level is characterized by basic understanding, where the reader deciphers the text's surface-level meaning. Inspectional reading involves a more rapid reading to grasp the book's structure and main ideas. Adler emphasizes the importance of this stage, as it aids in determining whether a book is worth a more thorough analysis. Analytical reading, the third level, is a meticulous and thoughtful examination of the book. It requires identifying key themes, understanding the author's arguments, and evaluating the evidence provided. The highest level, syntopical reading, involves comparing multiple books on the same subject, extracting insights, and synthesizing information from various sources. Adler's systematic breakdown of these reading levels equips readers with a clear roadmap for approaching any text. Furthermore, Adler delves into the distinction between reading for information and reading for understanding. He argues that simply absorbing information is not sufficient, true comprehension requires active engagement with the material. This understanding-oriented approach involves asking questions, making connections, and challenging the text's premises. Adler advocates for a dialectical approach, where the reader enters into a conversation with the author, seeking to agree or disagree, and ultimately forming an informed opinion. Adler also discusses the importance of taking notes while reading. He introduces the concept of marginalia, which involves annotating the text with personal reactions, comments, and questions. This practice transforms a passive reading experience into an active and personalized one. In addition to marginalia, Adler suggests keeping a reading journal to record insights, summaries, and reflections. This practice aids in retaining information and fostering a deeper connection with the material. Throughout the book, Adler emphasizes the role of the reader's prior knowledge and experience. He asserts that reading is a collaborative effort between the author and the reader's background knowledge. An informed reader can extract more from a text by recognizing allusions, cultural references, and the author's implicit assumptions. Adler's emphasis on context underscores the idea that reading is not isolated but is intertwined with one's broader intellectual journey. Adler's insights extend beyond the individual book to the realm of reading multiple books on a particular subject. He introduces the concept of syntopical reading, where the reader engages in comparative analysis by reading multiple works on the same topic. This approach enables the reader to identify differing perspectives, common themes, and overarching trends across various sources. Through this method, readers can construct a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of complex subjects. In conclusion, Mortimer J. Adler's How to Read a Book the Classic Guide to Intelligent Reading offers readers a comprehensive framework for effective reading and understanding. By emphasizing active engagement, systematic reading levels, note-taking practices, and the importance of prior knowledge, Adler provides readers with the tools to extract the maximum value from any text. The book's enduring relevance lies in its recognition of reading as a dynamic and participatory intellectual endeavor, which is essential for anyone seeking to engage deeply with the world of literature and ideas.